How's it going? Welcome to your weekly love reading. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What are you guys up to? Thank you so much for being here. I greatly appreciate all of you. All right, Four of Pentacles, Five of Swords, Six of Cups, Three of Swords Reversed, Five of Wands, Eight of Cups, real self-explanatory this week, Leo. All right, so you're coming in as the Four of Pentacles, emotionally closed off. Um, holding on to something too tightly or just real emotionally closed off, not open at all um, emotionally. There's reasons. I see them. So no judgment. Ten of Wands. Yeah, you're just fucking drained, Leo. Like something is just sucking the life right out of you. Um, you need to really practice healthy boundaries. And I think that's what you're doing with closing yourself off. I think you're like, this is it. Like... I've had enough. I'm exhausted. I can't take any more. So I'm just going to close up. And the full reverse you could be dealing with an Aries. Um, but this is, you're not taking any chances. You're not taking any chances. Chances. You're not risking anything. You're not risking your peace. Right now, you're just really trying to um, alleviate some of this burden, some of this heaviness that you feel. Um, my recent past, you have the five of swords. So this is that conflict. This is a lot of trash talking, um, bullshit, drama, whatever. I'm going to clarify. I don't like to clarify the past because it's the past, but we'll do it here. The hermit reversed Virgo. Um, you, somebody could have come back that like you hadn't heard from for a while and just like caused some kind of drama for you. Um, anyway, your present here is the six of cups. So definitely past energy. Um, if the, if you're not dealing with somebody that's from your past in this life, then there's a past life thing here. Kids might be involved. Let's get on that six of cups. The three of wands preparing for the future. You know, you might just be focused on like your kids and your future with your kids. If you have them. You could be dealing with somebody at a distance. There could be somebody from your past that like doesn't live near you now, but they like kind of show up again. And the page of wands. Yeah, it's new communication. New communication coming in here, potentially online, potentially from someone at a bit of a distance from you and it's either someone that you already know, someone from your past here, or a past life connection, all right? Um, and it's kind of, I'm going to get another one before I say anything else. The moon, Pisces, could be a Pisces, but there's still something hidden here. There's still something that is not known, not revealed yet. Could be that um, you're dealing with somebody. If you're like in a connection, I would, there's probably some hidden text. Hidden sex text. Judgment reversed. Um, all right, yeah. So if you have someone from your past here coming back, it's likely just sexual and you're gonna shut the door. Um, you're not gonna deal with that anymore. It's like no more second chances here, okay? Um, it could be also hidden that somebody made like a bad judgment call and like sex texted somebody when they shouldn't have. Um, your potential obstacle is the five of wands, like more drama. There's just drama all around you right now, Leo, honestly. <laughs> I'm sorry. There is. It's just drama, uh, disagreements, like arguments, just constantly competition, jealousy. And the three of wands again, again with the distance could definitely be somebody not near you. It could just be like conflicted over what you want your future to look like, which direction you want to go and the high priestess reverse. Okay. So here's the thing. Um, 
your intuition is trying to tell you something and you're not hearing it. So likely because you're in that 10 of wands and shit's just too heavy. You can't, when you, you know, when you're that drained, that exhausted, you can't really hear your intuition too well. So, um, once you kind of let go of some of that, it'll show up for you better. Now in your immediate future, you have the three of swords reversed. So this is healing from some kind of heartbreak, betrayal, whatever. So cool. Cool. It's healing. Let's get one on that three of swords. Ooh, the two of cups. All right, cool. Because this was a pretty shitty reading, Leo, up until now. So in the future here, um, you've got the two of cups here with the three of swords reversed. So this is healing from some kind of hurt bringing you to the soulmate connection. Um, and we have a ton of soulmates, so, you know, just whatever. But this is definitely one of those. This is somebody who can match you emotionally, um, who can give the same amount as you emotionally. And it's actually, it's legit. Like that's actual feelings. It's not like this shit right here. Let's get another one on that. Knight of Wands. So it could be with a younger fire sign. Aries, you and Sagittarius, or it could just be um, somebody that's like a lot of fun to be around and it might start off as sexual, but it's actually, there's actual feelings there or will be. Um, definitely a lot of attraction, a lot of fun with this person. And the Six of Wands, you could meet them on social media. This is like social media card. Um, but it's getting a lot of attention. So if you're single, you, you've got a lot of people into you or will. Um, but it's also about confidence and letting yourself be seen, feeling victorious, feeling like um, you're being appreciated, you're being recognized, you know? So this, whatever this is coming in for you in the future, it's really cool. Um, and it's going to feel like a victory for you, like you finally won, like you got what you were looking for. Um your advice is the eight of cups. Well, yeah, I mean, walking away from whatever's no longer serving you, whatever's disappointing, even if you put a lot of time, emotion, years, whatever into it, it's time to walk away. It's not going anywhere else. It's stagnant, it's disappointing. And the ace of wands. So there's something new here, walking away from something for something new um, and I don't think it's a whole relationship. This doesn't look like it's for a Leo that's actually in a relationship. It looks for one that has some shit happening, though, for sure. Um, anyway, you have this new beginning here. So walk away from all of that. It doesn't feel like there's any passion left in it. Um, it's just draining. It's There's no motivation. So there's something else new here where you're going to feel, like, excited about it. And the magician, this is you manifesting this new beginning. Like you did this, you set your intentions um, and you can keep doing it. You can make this go whatever direction you want it to go. Whatever it is that you're looking for in your love life, you have everything that you need within you to make that happen. All right, be on your magic shit, Leo. All right, let's get you some romance oracles and then we'll get your energy with the different signs. your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path interesting um and i have to point out with having judgment reversed you could be ignoring your calling like what it is that you're here to do um you could be kind of neglecting that and i mean you're already having an issue with listening to your intuition whether it's because you don't trust your own judgment or what You deserve love. You are lovable. Of course. Of course you are, Leo. Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visually, visualizations help bring you together. Yeah, calling in your soulmate. You have that in the future and you have the magician. So this is you. This is you manifesting. This is you calling this person to you because it's just that time. All right. 
All right, let's see what's up with you and the different signs. Majors you have here so far, let's see. Virgo, Pisces, Aries. What else? That's it. Virgo, Pisces, and Aries so far. Leo and Aries, that's done, that's over, no more. Leo and Taurus, Nine of Cups reverse. They are just looking for somebody to fill a void. Um, codependent energy. Leo and Gemini. Ooh, maybe this Gemini is this past person. So you have a past soulmate here that's a Gemini. If it's not in this life, then... It's a past life connection, but I would expect them to resurface. Leo and Cancer, Four of Cups. You know, you guys are both kind of indifferent about that connection. Nobody taking any action. Nobody really giving a shit. Leo and Leo, Five of Pentacles. <coughs> you can have a Leo X or just one that you ghosted or ghosted you. Um, Leo and Virgo. Seven of Swords reverse. So there's something coming out about a Virgo, whether it's because you caught them doing something or um, they're confessing something. Did I miss someone here? Aries, Taurus, Gemini. I did. Who did I miss? Aries, Taurus, a Gemini. Cancer. Did I miss cancer? I did. Sorry, I'm discombobulated. Oh, no, I didn't. It's there. It was the Four of Cups. It was just hidden. <laughs> All right. So we're at Libra. Leo and Libra. Nine of Swords. That's too stressful. That, that situation just causes too much anxiety. Leo and Scorpio. The chariot reverse, that's not going anywhere. Um, they could be like at a real distance from you, like where it's a problem. Leo dealing with Sagittarius, two of wands reverse. They feel like they made a bad decision when it comes to you. Leo and Capricorn, king of cups reverse. They're emotionally immature, withdrawn, potentially manipulative. Leo and where are we at? Aquarius. Leo and Aquarius the world. So um, if you have an Aquarius that's either run its course and you guys have outgrown each other or the connection's leveling up, like it's evolving. Leo and Pisces, which you have here, the three of swords reversed, which you also had here. So this could def definitely be for a Pisces that we were talking about. But if you're dealing with a Pisces, um, there is a healing happening between the two of you or individually, they are getting over some kind of a hurt here. All right. All right. I love you guys. Take care.